spend on it. It's not boring. Just at the dentist office, I'll give you a look and pause the video of what's going on. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and get this eternity. I thought that was eternity flying. It's just a regular eternity. It's still a good place. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get this right there. Victory League. That's a good one. Good. I might take that home with me. Clean is a really good house. Pure soap. That's the price. That's definitely coming out with me. Of course, always a lifetime supply. Monica, big fan of Hollister. It's a good house as well. This one right here, I had it. It's a decent fragrance for the money, seven or eight dollars. This Cuba is really, really good for the money. Very strong power, the masculine type of stuff. All those Cubas are good, especially for the parts. Definitely bringing this clean home with me. The Versace for home is good as well. True religion, that's my name. That guess right there is actually good too. Grab me a clean. See what we got here. This may be women's. Hope this ain't making y'all too sick. Let me see what we got here. Not a whole lot. This is the Adidas that I was just talking about. That's a good fragrance. That's a really good fragrance. Kind of a whole modern. That's a good one as well. So there's the CKD. So I know about that PI card in. And last, back around to the front. Mercedes Benz is a real good fragrance if you don't have that. That's a good one. Oh, man. Oh, man. The Lamborghini right there is upside down. That's a good one. A sleep or cheaper. That right there is good. Better for the spring and summer. This time of the year, maybe it is pillow club. This one is that lace. That is a beautiful, beautiful scent for $9.99. Okay, folks. All right, guys. That is it for now. What's going on, everybody? Hope you enjoyed that little peek inside uh, a local Ross here in my area, that's my Ross in Florence, Alabama. Just wanted to give you a little peek of what they had to offer. And with that being said, I need a few things from you. I need you to like this video, I need you to share this video, and I need you to sub to this channel if you haven't already. It's your boy's birthday weekend. At, at the shooting of this video, it is actually rolled over somebody else's birthday is December the 9th but I'm still celebrating mine because it's like 1 a.m. in the morning so I'm just getting started I'm off the whole weekend so I'm gonna do the birthday thing tomorrow which is Saturday and then Sunday and then maybe even Monday too who knows but definitely don't do 
something tomorrow and Sunday now. As if you, as you saw from that video, I told you I was gonna pick up one in the house of cleaning, which I saw. And I did just that. And this is called Clean Classic Pure Soap. And this is a parfum concentration. I'm gonna get that out the way before we get into this video. If I didn't mention it, what we're gonna talk about in this video is something a little different, especially this time of the year with everybody wearing hoodies. And I am a hoodie guy, I love my hoodies. Hoodies and sweaters in the cooler weather and Christmas parties. We're gonna talk about seven fragrances that are really, really light and airy and easy to wear. And you may say, Trey, why are you talking about those fragrances? Well, because the holiday season is coming up, it's here, and there's gonna be Christmas parties and all kinds of things and events. And everybody doesn't like heavy fragrances. And on top of that, there may be somebody out there that just doesn't like heavy fragrances, period. Everybody doesn't like gourmands or rich, deep parfum fragrances. Some people just want something that is light Smells good, airy, could be because of their significant other. It just could be because they don't like heavy fragrances. So I'm going to talk to you about seven from my collection that are alternatives. And of course, the price ranges varies. None of these are hard to work. One of them is going to be kind of hard to get. The rest of them are not. But yeah, okay, now back on track. Clean, classic, pure soap. I'm on the fence about keeping this one or passing it along to a friend of mine. Oh, also, this is an experimental video. As you see these in my ear, I got finally got me some Apple AirPods for my birthday. They were a gift. These are Gen 3s. So instead of using my corded mic to do this video, I wanted to use my um, AirPods. So. I want to see how this sound. I want to see how the sound in this video is. I want to see if this is something I can do moving forward, forward, especially for you know shooting videos remotely or whatever. Now, okay. With that being said, to this fragrance, to this purchase, $19.99, $21 after tax. There's the bottle. Love the bottle. Very simple, simplistic. I like it. I do. I like it. thing about doing these videos is you have to sample different scents. So I've got fragrances all over my own. Now, at first spray of this, I really like it. But when I got it home, of course I already opened it and did some testing with it. It does lean almost too feminine does come across as really, really clean and really soapy, and you can never go wrong with that, but it doesn't come across as a masculine type of soapy. Does it smell good? Yes. Would I recommend this fragrance? Yes, I would recommend this fragrance for somebody who is buying a fragrance or looking to get a fragrance for a woman that doesn't like a lot of heavy Perfumery. It is very, very simple, very light, very easy to wear, and it does smell good. Is it soapy? Not necessarily. It doesn't really smell like a bar soap. It smells more like a hand um, liquid soap, if that makes any sense. You know how you think Irish Springs or something along those lines? No, you're not going to get anything like that, or maybe Dove or Ivory. It just smells more like, it doesn't smell like Dawn dish detergent or anything like that. It just more, smells more like a, a liquid soap that you would buy in the pump. Does it smell good? Yes. Am I gonna end up keeping this? Probably not, probably not. The reason being for it is, I don't see myself reaching for this. So I'm gonna do one or two things. Either I'm gonna gift it or either I'm gonna take it back, one of the two. Is it a good smelling fragrance? Yes. Could a man wear this? Absolutely. Is it for me? No, it's not. Does it smell good? Yes. Is it for me? No. No, it's not. It's just not my lane. 
and I, I just think it leans too feminine. But I do think it smells good, and I think a lot of guys would wear this fragrance, and if you do, I, there is absolutely nothing to be ashamed of. If you like it, that's fine, more power to you. I just have, with the collection that I have and the fragrances that I have, I just have so many, I can easily see me not wearing that fragrance. But I just wanted to, because I know I talked about it in that video, and there it is. I should have, there's a couple more I should have gotten. I think it was that Perry Ellis 18 Red Intense. I may be on the lookout for that one if I go back to a Marshalls or a TJ Maxx or something and see that. Now, to the seven fragrances that I think you would be, um, that would be really good choices if you're trying to wear something that is light, fresh, and airy because you're gonna be around a lot of people and you don't wanna offend anybody, but you still wanna smell good. Let's go. Let's get the first one out of the way. This is from a house that I really, really like. Uh, the fragrances smell really good and it just kinda of gets overlooked in the shelf. I know their clothing is really expensive, but the fragrances are not. And this is Hollister. And this is Hollister Freeway. And this one is a nice, cool, refreshing just breath of fresh air and I know you're probably thinking Troy it's cold outside ah it smells good it is cold outside baby it's cold outside did I tell you it's my birthday weekend did I mention it? it's my birthday okay. so we having a birthday ex Trey Baganza but anyway corny I know but you know I don't mind being corny I'm with my friends so if I can't be myself with my friends what's the point um, this is nice. This is nice. And I think the best part about this fragrance, other than it smelling really, really good and being cool and refreshing, is that this has no age group. 13 all the way up to 83 can rock this fragrance and I think it would smell really good. Of course, it does lean more towards the warmer months, but that does not mean that you cannot wear this with a nice hoodie and a nice jacket or sweater or anything that you want to wear with because it is just cool and it is fresh. It is refreshing. It is very easy on the nose. It does, the, all of these fragrances have enough ump in them that you can wear them any time of the year. And this one is no exception. No exception. I like it. I like it a lot, but I really like Hollister fragrances. Um, there's a couple that I have seen that I haven't picked up. I think one of them is called Canyon. A Canyon and Canyon Escape or something like that. I'll probably be, I will probably be picking them up sometime during the holiday season, but that's a little Christmas gifts for myself. But nonetheless, Hollister Freeway is a really good fragrance. I think if you get this one, you'll like it. It's a four, three to four season type of fragrance, but you can definitely wear that in the winter, especially if you live in the Southeast. I think you'll be just fine. And I think it'll be nice airy but again has just enough um, to to do good on those cool days now this next one is from the house of banana republic and they actually make a couple of fragrances that would that would be good um for this type of video this type of occasion which is again you just want to be light airy smell good not too overpowering and this one is 1990 pure white Good smelling fragrance here. And this one, this one has to me, and I hate to throw this word out there, but I'm going to, niche vibes, niche quality. When I think of a niche fragrance, fragrances like this is what I think of because it is in its own lane, it is completely left lane. It's not a gourmand, it's not an aquatic, it's not, um, you know, tobacco, it's, it's not anything like that. This fragrance, if you could capture khaki chinos and a white t-shirt and put it in a bottle, that's what you have with this one. That's what you have with this one. It smells a little bit dusty, which to me is, is what gives it that niche quality or that niche vibe is the fact that it just has this certain savoir faire and certain I hate to use the word dusty because I don't want to give you the vibe that it stinks because it doesn't in any shape form or fashion but it just has a a very vintage a very nostalgic maybe 90s smell to it but 
I like it. I like it a lot. This is definitely one I could see you wearing, especially we live in, I live in the Southeast. You all know I live in Alabama. So I have no idea what the temperature is going to be Christmas and Christmas Eve. So this may be one that you could reach for if it's a light hoodie type of day or a light sweater type of day. So, but nonetheless, you're not going to offend anybody with this fragrance at the Christmas party or at anything that you're going to do Christmas, Christmas related and you're still going to smell good. But Banana Republic 1990 pure white. This next one is probably one of the lightest, airiest fragrances that I have, but it does smell really good. It's just extremely light and extremely airy, and it is from the house of Calvin Klein, and it is Eternity Air. If you don't have air, you can also go with Eternity Aqua. Gives you the same type of vibe, it's just one's a little bit more aquatic and the other one's a little bit fresher. Um, I think I sprayed this on my finger I like this fragrance. I think I paid about $30 for this huge bottle, either right before the pandemic or right after. I can't remember. But I called it at Tiffany, and this one's nice. This smells really nice. I think this is a, a highly underrated and overlooked fragrance. I really do. It is the definition of simplistic, minimal, but still smells good. I just cannot imagine a person smelling this on you and thinking you smell bad. People overlook the house of Calvin Klein and I don't really know why because with fragrances like Defy, the EDT and the EDP, uh, Eternity Air, Eternity Aqua and Eternity Flame and Reveal, those are as good as fragrances as you're going to find out there. You're going to find out there. That's just my opinion. If this was made by some uh, really, really expensive house, you would be talking about how airy it is. People would be raving about it. But because it's Calvin Klein, we tend to overlook it and push it to the side. Sleep on it if you want to. Calvin Klein Eternity Air is a really nice fragrance. It is light. It is airy, it, it just works. It really works. Good job to Calvin Klein for making this fragrance. And I like it. It's Calvin Klein, it's under the air. And that's one you really can't overspray that fragrance. It's just, I don't think it's possible. Yeah. Well, maybe if you spray the whole 600 ounce bottle, but if you spray within a reason, legit 10, 15 sprays of that, and I don't honestly think you're gonna overspray anybody. I said 10 to 15, a lot of sprays. A lot of sprays and I don't think you're gonna overspray anybody. Okay, where was the, oh this next one man you already know you already know this one it just works and this is the ultimate clean scent type of fragrance this is the ultimate chill fragrance is from the house of Versace and it's Versace Pearl I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on this because you already know about it you already know what it do Mm -hmm. Man, how do we forget about fragrances like this? I mean, like, just how? How do we get so wrapped up in new, the latest, the greatest that we forget about that? Like, you guys know I love music. Music is a part of every day for me. There's not one day that goes by that I don't listen to music, which is why these headphones were uh, such a precious gift. But there's nothing, no matter how the technology gets with the Bluetooth and the sound quality, there's nothing like old school, big speakers, and putting that needle on that record from an old school record player coming through old school, big old speakers before all the technology. That sound can't be duplicated. And I say that to say the same thing about some fragrances. Sometimes the fragrances just flat out work and we should wear them. And this is one that works. Versace Parham is just a perfect example of a really clean smelling fragrance. It just comes across as a man that, hey, I smell good. I know how to smell good. I know what I want out of life. I don't have to try to impress anybody, but I want to smell nice. So that's what I'm going to do. Versace Parham. I love it. 
great smelling fragrance. It flat out works. I've got three more. This next one was making its way around and then it disappeared. A sub of mine picked this up for me and I paid him for it. It's from the house of Abercrombie and Fitch and it is away. Love that blue juice. The first night I had this, I wore it to work and received several compliments on it. The young lady I was working with, she said, and I quote, whatever you got on smells good. It's not too much. Again, I'm telling you, like, everybody's senses are different. Some people really don't like strong, pungent, powerful fragrances. Some do, some don't. For those that don't, fragrances like Away. And it's just a fresh, airy, slightly woody, masculine fragrance. And when I say masculine, I mean you can tell it's a man. It doesn't come across as unisex. It definitely doesn't come across as too sweet or anything like that. It does have a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of woods. But basically what I get out of this one is a nice light, easy to wear, airy type of fragrance. I don't spray one spray of this on and think, oh my God, you know, smell me. All of these fragrances are spray friendly. You're gonna, I don't know, my earbuds just did something. I don't know what that, what that, you know, something just went in my ear and popped up on the screen, I don't know. Nonetheless, Abercrombie and Fitch, away, great fragrance. It's, it's kind of a frat boy type of scent. It's kind of the scent you would smell, you would expect to smell from Aeropostale or, or, or Rue 21 or anything uh, that you would buy from the mall. But it still works. It's still good. I'm not saying that in a bad way and I'm definitely not dissing, but Away is a good little fragrance. And I think this was under 20 bucks and I like it. I like it a lot. I need to wear this more. This next one is one that I really, really like. I was pleased to finally get this in my collection. Some people say it works best in the high heat. Okay, whatever. You wear a fragrance when you want to, guys. But I think it will work great at the Christmas party if you're in the office and you're trying to, um, again, smell good but not offend anybody and you want to come across as a classic guy not a guy that's trying too hard it's from the house of polo and it is polo ultra blue and it's just a fresher fresher take on polo blue and i'm going to tell you polo blue is a very nice scent and a lot of people like polo blue again this is one that i don't really think you can overspray, and i definitely don't think anybody's going to smell this on you and tell you that you smell bad. No matter what age you are, this fragrance will work and it will work good for you. From the house of Ralph Lauren, it is Polo Ultra Blue. I hope that wasn't my earbuds disconnecting because there's no music coming through. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. So if the sound quality dipped, let me know. So, this last one is from the house of Prada, and it is from the Luna Rosa line. And this is one that got no love, no play. I heard very few people talk about it. I like it. Prada, Luna Rosa, you sport. You sport. And this is sort of a white floral, is what you have with this. Great atomizer. Again, you get a hint of that Prada Luna Rosa DNA. You get a hint of that Prada Luna Rosa. You get a hint of that Prada Luna Rosa sport. You get hints of that mixed in with a little bit of, I want to say it's it's uh, white florals that lightens it up. It's nowhere near as heavy. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Man, it's nowhere near as heavy as those two. And it's, it doesn't have the same feel as, a, what is that, Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce? You know how those fragrances are very similar? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
this one goes in a little bit of a different direction, but you do have that freshness. Um, you do have that same vibe, just fresher. Just fresher. You pick, especially when you first spray it, you pick up on the DNA of, of the Luna Rosa line really, really quick. But then the freshness from those florals kick in, and it is a really nice fragrance. Really, really nice. Again, all of these are more suited for warmer, warmer climates. I will say that, and I've, I've said that many times throughout this video. They're all suited for warmer climates, but at the same time, at the same time, they can all be used anytime you want to and they all smell good. And this one again, if it's about 60 degrees out there, you definitely see this one working, you smelling good, people liking it and complimenting you on it. From the house of Prada, it is Luna Rosa Hugh Sport. And again, my email will be in the description box. If you want samples of any of these, I am willing to part with five meals for a nominal fee. Shipping is always included. So, now with that being said, man, turning a year older, these earbuds always feel like they're gonna fall out my ear. They don't ever fall out. They feel like they're going to. So blessed to see another year, another year in life, another click on the domino, another year on the channel. I appreciate you guys so much for bearing with me and being the best part of my channel. It means a lot. It means a lot. And you already know, I love you all. I love you all so much. And I thank you all for being the best part of this channel and for always returning to the scene of the crime. And for those of you who reached out and wished me a happy birthday, greatly appreciate it. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. Now with that being said, I'm gonna get off of here, do some editing, thumbnailing, you know, and get it out to you so you can see it. If you are a birthday baby this month, Thank you. I mean, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to the big homie Cheapo. His birthday's coming. They just did something. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I gotta figure it out. Um, happy birthday to the big homie Cheapo. Happy birthday to the homie Sam Brown. I know they both have birthdays in December, so yeah. With that being said, I'm gonna get off of here and edit the middle and get it out to you. I love you all. May God bless you all. Till next time, guys. Peace.